Time to play with some clay. She touches on this bow. I'm rebuilding the uh, lip that he had, or the shelf he had for the arrow, because I had to cut that off because it was at the wrong angle. We had uh, bent the bow so that uh, it looked like it was being pulled. And uh, my Dremel tool is uh, charging up at the moment, and I want to be able to take down the uh, thickness of this uh, fast steel on the uh, hand part. So, now I had to cut off the uh, original shelf he had for the uh, arrow because it was just uh, at the wrong angle. Alright, this is my Trent Dremel. I have it at the right angle, so. It's a lot better in his hand now. His fingers wrap around it better now than it did before. That works fine. Gotta aim it towards his hand. There we go. I just use my fingernail to add some striations in the uh, tail. I don't want a lot of uh, striations in it because I like the smoothness of it and it'll look good in uh, bronze if I... Leave this is one of the final things I do and that's uh, add texturing to the... Uh, I'm not going to overdo the texturing because I'm going with my hand and, and sort of taking it back just a little bit by rubbing it. And it makes it look more like a rock texture when I'm done. I mean, it's not going to have the little granules and stuff like that of a real rock, but... Uh... Alright, I got, I got this attached. I put uh, a wire on the handle of the uh, bow, and then I just slipped the wire up the arm. And that holds it permanently on, on his hand so they don't... Be... So when they cut the arm off to make a mold of this and this, uh, it won't fall off. That was my main concern that this was going to just fall out of the hand and I can't put the bow back into the hand once the fingers are closed on it. And I want to work on those fingers and get some detail on on uh, tomorrow. About one degree outside. <laughs> really cold. It took a long while for my car to warm up. It's still warming up. I'm going to meet up with Whitney, uh, the guy who commissioned me to do the Sagittarius. And, uh, over at my studio, and then we're going to head to uh, Bozeman from there. Yes, people, I do get up early. <laughs> On occasion. That is perfect, I think. Whitney's seeing his bronze for the first time. Uh, Lance, I mean, not, yeah, Lance is uh, finishing it off with uh, some grinding and and uh, smoothing, Beautiful. and then they're gonna sandblast it one more time, oh, and uh, yeah, the back shot. then they'll yeah. color it. Yeah. Totally Whitney great. doesn't get excited about things at all. Oh man, look at that! That's <laughs> better than a sushi bar. <laughs> <laughs> what they're getting ready to do is put uh, a solution on it that turns the uh, bronze completely black, and that's a base coat. Of the acid that they have to well, yeah. uh, see what it's doing to the color. Yep. Of the Love it already. So we'll get it black and then I rub back, cut the highlights, and then we can take it as dark as we want. You'll we'll see. Isn't that wild how it changes real quick. Love it. Yes, chemical reaction. And that's a cold chemical. You have to sandblasting up. open up the pores. Yeah. Just like wood. What that's what that's doing is uh, that's a cold patina, and then it'll do the heat up the bronze and start adding the uh, other uh, acids to give it the final color. Freaking wild! 
That's phenomenal how it's like almost getting purple. Yeah, the girl's got it. I guess it's like a bluish slate color, but it's all beautiful. Slate. Isn't it beautiful? It is beautiful. In all its glory, David. What a great collaboration, man. I finally got to work with you. I've been looking forward for 12 years. You've known each other for 12 years? Oh, 13. yeah. Oh, yeah. 13. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Nobody's <laughs> there. First time I met David, I was standing with a group of people that I had just met in downtown. Look at that. Now it's Burgundy. That kind of does. Wow! Keeps changing, though. There's all this color in the end. That's, That's phenomenal. They've been doing this since the beginning of uh, doing bronzes. That's so sweet. Yeah, it's a liver of salt. Yeah, that, I, I'll bet you that's how they colored the first bronzes. Oh, yeah. Plus, this is real permanent. Like, you know, if you scrub off the highlights, all the recesses are dark. You can see your sculpting, and then you can seal it, and it'll pretty much just slowly yeah. weather. Yeah. That is too cool. Yeah, so David and uh, our computer buddy, Zach and Ann, and uh, another friend, Cindy Restavet, who had an organic store, and our friend Terry Freeman had a sort of a second-hand cowboy outfit. And they were sitting outside, and they had just known me like three or four hours. And this gal, this two gals pull up in this old beat-up Toyota sedan. And... Uh, this in Ennis? This was in downtown Ennis, yeah, right towards the end of town. Yeah. And this gal just walks right up to me, and these guys are already getting a taste of what I'm really like. So, being the cosmic gesture that I am, I see this gal walking towards me, and the first thing out of her mouth is, you know what, I, Jesus came to me last night and said, you need to be saved. To you. You need to be saved. Yeah, me of all people, son of a minister. She picked me right out of the crowd. You're the son of a minister? Yeah, I got a target painted on my head. So she tells me, it's like, you need to come to Christ and be saved. He came to me last night and said, you need to be saved. And I said, what a remarkable coincidence. <laughs> Jesus Christ came to me last night, too. And he told me, you're full of shit. <laughs> oh, he never died. These guys, these guys were laughing so hard, I thought they were going to get hurt. You're not going to match wits with Whitney. Whitney will take you every time. It's, it's, a, it's just, but it's my job, isn't it, Dave? Yeah, it's absolutely. It's my job, man. Hey. Some You're people, a commentator on life. I am. I am. I'm a lot like Red Skelton and... Um, well, not quite like Not Red quite. Skelton. I'm not quite as good. I mean, he was a genius. The man was a genius. I met, I met him one time. I know. He's just like... See, that? I know that picture of you and him. Yeah, I know. He... Uh, I, I wish I could. Oh yeah, I got that in my studio. Yes, you do. You do indeed. Yeah, he. Uh, we talked for quite a while about artwork. I can. I can really try to smell it. That's phenomenal. So now you're gonna heat this guy up. Okay, heat it up. And then I, I use these wheels, and I'm gonna polish these highlights back. And it's gonna. You'll see. It'll get a lot brighter. But then we'll start adding on these traditional chemicals and darken it up as, as much as you want. Okay. But it brings out some of that. But I like that uh, more of a traditional a, a bronze looking bronze. Yep, that's what it's going to be. It, Beautiful. It, Not copper, but bronze. Yeah, so what I'll do when I start doing it, it'll look copper first, and then you start adding. See, here's this traditional chemical called ferrous. So it's, so it's got iron in it. It's ferrous. Yeah, it's. it's uh, Cupric is copper. Yeah, this has got nitric acid. Okay. Yeah, you know, yeah, some yeah. of the older bronze that I've seen. Go ahead. Uh, That's okay. I'll stand, David. Thank you. Uh, some of the older bronzes I've seen in, like, say, the uh, Huntington Museum in uh, Altafia, uh, uh made back in the 1700s, and that, where you touch the bronze and it rub away a little bit, there's just this beautiful brownish patina, uh, but everything else is just pure black. Yeah, a lot of old pieces where people touch it a lot, you know? Yeah. There's you know, a patina, you know, like a board, like a old. railing on a, a banister. Yeah. They've got old, like at the Gettysburg Battlefield, there's a there's a relief bust of a guy, and, and the soldiers from the day was put up, you know, a few years after the they war. They kind of stroke his beard or something. good luck to touch his nose. He was Irish. And, yeah. So you see his picture. It's all, it kind of looks like this, except the nose, he looks like Rudolph. It's glowing gold. Like he couldn't make it more gold. He's from the oil on people's hands for whatever, you know, 100 
changes the look of the metal. I mean, uh, the, the rich browns start coming through and and all that, and uh, that's the finish. And then it'll cool off, it'll get dull, and then we can just polish it back up again with a nice soft oh, pot. Yeah. All right, that's going to be it today uh, here at the uh, Foundry. That's uh, Sagittarius, and that's Whitney, who got to witness Cheers. the whole thing. And uh, what a, it was a great project, Whitney. <coughs> If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.